par for this one is two, babe. Okay, so we both did it in three. Fortunately, par was only two. All right, so we're gonna go to another hole. All right. Ali could do this hole in two, which would be par. And I could also do this hole in two. I'm not as good as a major golf player as she is though. So we are on the third hole. Kind of cool. Got like a little mining cart there. and Nice little course. So we're up to hole nine. Ollie has the first hit. But I wanted to show you guys this cool pavilion. They have like little cool spots along the way. It's a nice course. Got some water hazard things and stuff like that. So cool. Okay, so I'm gonna talk in my quiet voice because that's what they always do on TV. Ollie is getting ready to shoot. Oh my. So they also have like a racetrack that you can do. Carousel, walk, rock wall. This place is cool. We have Jerry, Jeremiah Eisenbaum. Ready to make the 18th hole. We'll see where it went. Into the reeds. Okay, got a fire going, and just want to show you a couple of new things that Ollie and I got for our camping trips. Um, for one, I got these extendable tongs for moving the firewood around. Got these for Christmas. And uh, these things have been great. And the nice thing is, look how small they are once you open them all the way, which is great for putting it in the camper. And then uh, the other thing that we got, we heard it was going to rain, so we got this canopy, uh, Ozark Trail canopy. I th we paid, uh, I think it was $45. But I'm sure you've seen them before, but this works great. We just kind of you know, go out the door and we can sit out here. It's supposed to rain later on today, so we figured, well, hey, we better uh, think of something we can do. That way, you know, we're going to play some cards or something since we can't go out to the lake and stuff like that. So hopefully this is helping any of you who are first-time campers or you got a uh, pop-up camper of your own or... RV whatever the case may be you know there's different people who have things like this and they actually gave us the idea and I said hey this is great I've seen some stuff on YouTube too so this worked for us and uh, you know keep watching we're gonna have some more stuff for you here
Ollie, say hi. Wave. There you go. And the waterfall's down that way. Look at me, Ollie. This is Ollie in front of the waterfall. Crazy woman, look. There's the edge. Ah. Okay. Hey, we're back with you guys again and we wanted to share another state park with you. We're here at Harrington Manor State Park in Garrett County, Maryland. And as you can see, we're surrounded here by some water and uh, there's some cool things that you can do here, cool activities. They have a beach where you can go swimming, you can go boating, and you can also rent bikes. So if you wanna rent a boat or you wanna rent bikes at a smaller body of water, this is an awesome place and they have really nice trails we're hoping that you're enjoying the material that we're bringing forth to you and uh, soon we'll be leaving and it's kind of sad that we have to go but in the same way we're excited to get back home so we'll show you when we pack up and uh, we'll see you on the next journey We're packing up in Deep Creek Lake, Maryland, and uh, time to say goodbye. So uh, Jerry is packing up the rest of the trailer and uh, we're gonna be heading out. Puppy, are you ready to go home? Puppy's ready to go home. Okay, well, we got everything packed up, lowered the A-liner. I'm not gonna show you guys how to do all that because most of you have seen that on, t on uh, YouTube already. But I'm going to uh, raise the last um, stabilizing leg here. All right. And I disconnected the power, turned off my fridge. And let's see, anything else? All the water's drained. And then the only other thing I wanted to remind all of you about is make sure you put your step up. And then, of course, we like to lock our door here. So, I'm going to make sure that this is locked, both of them, okay, that's locked, I put my air conditioner cover back on, alright, and, uh, so, the, okay, so, all I want to show you is, like, how to hook up the car part of it, because you don't see too many videos on that, alright, so I lined up my hitch already, I backed up the car, now I'm going to raise the wheel, or lower the wheel, rather, the crank if I turn it the right direction <laughs> and as you see it's going down to the hitch and it is on the car all right Lock this down, and then I gotta go grab the pin for this. Okay. You can take your wheel off, which in my case here is gonna be a problem today. back down just a touch that was it I had it a little too tight so 
Now, now I can raise it back up. All right. And that is not the pin. This goes back in your wheel. All right. And this gets plugged up to your seven pin connector. And this is just my cover if you're wondering what that is. Okay, so I gotta come over there. All right, here's my seven pin. Hopefully you can see that down there. All right, and you make sure this little thicker part, this groove, follows the groove of your car connector. Okay, I got it in there tight, locked down. Then next is your chains. All right, and your chains, you want to cross them so I take the left side, put it to the right side, put the right side to the left side, okay? Make sure that those clips are in, down, and you're secure. And then this is your emergency brake. Now my cable on mine is very long, so I kind of coiled it up, and I'm using a, um, a carabiner with a nice little lock on there to make sure that it doesn't come undone. You do want a little slack because if it gets too tight when you're driving, it can pull and actually like make your trailer brakes come on. You just don't want it like drag and drag, and that should be good enough here. If I find there's a problem, I will readjust that, but it shouldn't be. And like I said, I put this already back in here. I'm gonna put the wheel away, put the cover away, and check the brakes, check all the brake lights and everything, and after that, should be ready to go. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. Make sure that you keep you keep subscribing and that you like the video and help me get to a thousand subscribers. I'm really trying to accomplish that on this on this video. So thanks for watching, all of you that support me. Catch you next time.